In this video, we're going to prove the triangle inequality. So that is the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. So we're going to first prove that x is less than or equal to absolute value of x for all real x. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, that means the absolute value of x is just x. So plug that in. That means that x is less than or equal to x, but that's always true. So if x is less than 0, we have that the absolute value of x will be minus x. So you can think of the absolute value of minus 5 is negative 1 times the neg negative 5, which is 5. So plug that in, so that would be that x is less than or equal to minus x. Add x both sides, so you get that 2x is less than or equal to 0. Or that means that x is less than or equal to 0, and that is true because x is less than 0. So now we're going to prove that minus x is less than or equal to absolute value of x for all real x. Let's start with x is less than 0 first, just because it's easier. So that means that absolute value of x is minus x. So that means that minus x is less than or equal to minus x, and that is always true. And so if x is greater than or equal to 0, the absolute value of x will be equal to x. So that means that negative x is less than or equal to what we have is x minus plus x on both sides, leaving us with 0 is less than or equal to 2x. Just flip those inequalities around. 2x is greater than or equal to 0 divided by 2, so x is greater than or equal to 0, and that is true. So now we're going to get to case 1 of the original inequality, triangle inequality. So case 1 will be that x plus y inside here is positive. It means that absolute value of x plus y is just x plus y. But from this, we have that x is less than or equal to absolute value of x. So we have this is less than or equal to absolute value of x, and y will be absolute value of y. And that is, the, that, is that case. So the final case, case 2, so x plus y is less than 0. That means that x plus y, absolute value of x plus y is negative x plus y, which is minus x plus minus y. So I'll do that in parentheses. And from this case, when you prove negative x is less than or equal to absolute value of x for all x, negative x is less than or equal to absolute value of x, negative y is less than or equal to negative y, or absolute value of y, so that's, that proves this case, and that's the end of the video.